Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Are you ready for a story? Croak is going to be today's story. The author of the story is Kavita Punyamurthy and the illustrator is Ekta Bharti. And the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. Plop, plip, plip, plop, plip, plip, plop, plip, plip. Raindrops plip and plop on the roof of the school. Namaste, Master G, sang the children. So it's raining outside. Plip, plop, plip, plop. It's making that noise. And it's falling on the roof of the school and it is making that plip, plop sound. And all the kids are saying namaste to their teacher. Master Ji beamed. Namaste, namaste, namaste. When Master Ji turned to the blackboard, crawl, someone hopped in through the window. So this is the teacher. The teacher also enthusiastically says namaste to his class. Just then when he is about to turn and write something on the blackboard, there is a, a visitor to the class. Who is that? It's a frog. Frog, how does it make noise? The, the noise that a frog makes is croaking. Croak. Croak. Like that it is making and it just hops or jumps through the window and gets into the class. Let's see what happens now. The children squealed. Look behind you, Master G, they said. There is a frog in the room. Oh, really? Master G said, pretending to be surprised. And what does your frog look like? It's big and podgy said Akif. It's green and spotty, said Rani. It's wet and slimy, said Muni. The kids spotted the frog and they started squealing. Squealing is high pitch voice. They are screaming. They're saying, telling the, the teacher, look behind you, look behind you. There is a frog. The teacher is not, is not perturbed or disturbed by the fact that there is a frog inside the room. So then he says very casually, oh, is it? There is a frog, is it? How does it look like? Each one describes the frog in a different way. Akif says, it's big and podgy. It's big and fat, says Akif. Then Rani says, look at it. It's green in color and it is spotty. It has spots on it. So it is green and spotty says Rani. And then Munni says, it's wet and slimy. It's a frog, right? Frogs will be wet. The outer skin will be wet and it looks slimy. As if it is going to stick. It's, it's like that it is slimy. So Munni says that it is wet and slimy. The frog is croaking away happily amidst all the chaos that's happening in the class. In English class, Master Ji said, turn to page 13. Look behind you, Master Ji, said Farah. The frog is sitting on your chair. Great. I hope she likes it here. Croak. So now they're, they're having English class. So the teacher says, turn to page 13 now. But the kids are still worried about the the frog that is there in the class. So Farah says, look behind you, sir. The frog is sitting in your chair. And the teacher is still not disturbed by that. He says, oh, I hope she likes that place. Now, where did I keep my glasses? Asked Master Ji during maths class. Look behind you, Master Ji, said Bishal. 
the frog is wearing your glasses. Oh, never mind. I can see just as well without them. Crook. So after English, it's math for them. During the mathematics class, the teacher is searching for his glasses. And again, the kids are saying, sir, please look behind you. The, the frog is wearing your glasses. Now also, the teacher is not disturbed at all. He says, oh, I can see without my glasses very well, he says. When it is time for science, Master Ji said, here's a bat hanging upside down from a tree. Look above you, Master Ji, said Akif. The frog is hanging upside down from the fan. A frog that thinks she's a bat, ah? Huh? Quack! So after mathematics, it is science for the kids. So during the science class, the teacher is explaining something about a bat, how it is hanging upside down from a tree. But the kids are busy looking at the frog, which is also hanging down from the fan. So they point that to the teacher. The teacher is still not uh, convinced that there is a frog and he's completely ignoring whatever the kids are saying. And he says, oh, a frog that thinks that it is a bat, is it, huh? With that, he is trying to ignore whatever the kids are trying to say. At lunch, Master Ji asked, where are my alu parathas? I'm sure I packed three more. Look behind you, Master Ji, said Munni. The frog is munching on your alu parathas. Well, at least someone loves my cooking. Croak. So during lunch, what? The, the frog is still there. So the teacher is asking, oh, I, must, I thought I had packed more alu parathas. So Munni is the other uh, is another girl in the class. She's saying, "Yeah, yeah, you did, and it is the frog that is eating all your alu paratas." But the teacher is again ignoring everything, and he says, "Well, at least someone seems to be loving my cooking." When it was time for games, Master Ji said, "Where's the football?" Look behind you, Master Ji, said Rani. The frog just scored a goal. Fantastic. She must join our team. So after all their classes, they're having games period. So during the games period, the teacher is asking, where is the football now? So now Rani says, Rani is another student in the class. She says, ha, look behind you, sir. The frog just scored a goal. And then the teacher again is not bothered. He's not looking back. Instead, he says, fantastic. The frog can join our team then. The last bell rang. Master Ji waved cheerily to the children as he cycled away. Look behind you, Master Ji. The children squealed. The frog is sitting on your bag. Good. I could use the company. So finally, the day is over and the teacher is saying bye to all the kids as he happily goes back home on his cycle. So again, the kids are screaming. They're saying, look behind, look behind. What's happening? The frog is now sitting on the teacher's bag. Again, the teacher is not impressed with all the squealing and he is not even looking behind. He says, good, I will have some company. I'll have some company for my evening. I didn't fall for any silly prank today. Crook. So the teacher is very happy. Oh, the kids tried to fool me so much, but I didn't fall for any of their pranks. He's happy that he didn't fall for any of their pranks. Was it a prank though? 
Huh? The frog is right there, right? Was it a prank by all the kids or was the frog really there? Let us look at some of the difficult words that we saw in our story today. Beamed. To smile with happiness. Podgy. Podgy means fat. Slimy. Slimy is slippery or sticky. Pretend. To behave as if something is true when you know that it is not. Squeal. A shrill or loud cry. Prank. A trick that is intended to be funny but not to cause harm or damage. Try these questions. Were the kids trying to prank the teacher? Or was the frog really in the classroom? What do you think? Have you had such interesting visitors like the frog in the story in your classroom? Explain how you all reacted and how your teacher reacted to the situation. Did you like today's story? I found it really funny. Did you guys find it funny as well? Until next time, it's bye from Soumya.